Hi, I'm Kevin D. I'm the head of design at Evergoods, and I want to introduce today our Civic Travel Bag 35 liter or CTB 35. This is our travel backpack. It looks and feels and operates like a backpack, um, but we've built it out with the right amount of organization and volume to really serve travel needs. It is 35 liters. It's sized to be overhead bin compliant, and we made it out of our 420D balanced weave nylon from our mountain line. Uh, this makes it kind of just a little lighter, kind of slick and clean so that it slides in and out of cargo areas. Let's look at it. I wanted to, we wanted to give on the outside of the bag a, a little suite of features that were kind of just easy drop-ins for when you're running from gate to gate or just need to stash something quick. Uh, so on each side, we put some nice low profile stretch pockets. Uh, they're elastic at the top and double layer stretch so they can expand. Um, yeah, they're nice and low profile, but they're big, deep pockets. They're sized to fit a one liter water bottle, totally swallows it. You could fold up a newspaper or a magazine in there, hat, whatever. Um, additionally, we have our yoke pocket, it's, uh, popular on our uh, Civic panel loader. This is just a top pocket drop in. It's got a key leash. I like to keep a mask in here. You could throw shades in here. Um, this kind of keeps, this pocket's nice too. It's kind of up high above everything, so it's good for fragile items. And then also right here on the face, right front and center, uh, we did a really nice, just kind of, kind of a big dump pocket. And it, it's, it's a pretty good volume uh, pocket. You could throw a water bottle in there on your way to uh, the gate. I like to keep my cap one in there with my headphones and stuff. Um, It'll also take like a light jacket or a sweater if you just need an extra layer. Throw a water bottle in there on your way to the gate. So this, there's a nice big volume, just kind of stash pocket right up top there. Um, so that's kind of in its upright position. Also, this bag sits very well on its side. We've got the front pocket also from our Civic panel loader. It's the same layout and organization. Uh, so there's a, there's a nice drop pocket that's sized for like wallet or passport or phone. Uh, there's a, a drop-in slot for pens, and then we've got a zippered pocket for little items that you need to keep track of, coins, what have you. Um, but also, we also added a gusset to the bottom of this pocket so that it can open slightly. Um, so in addition to all these little organization spots, uh, again, if you just wanted to take some big thing and just like cram it in there, it should take it. Um, additionally, on the side is our laptop compartment. Um, and this is, again, same build from our uh, Civic panel loader. Uh, so there's a padded sleeve here for laptop. It's suspended off the ground and fully padded. This is MacBook Pro 16 inch. Uh, there's a security strap to keep it in place. And then in addition, there's just this entire slot. Um, you can throw a, a magazine in there, documents. I just stash my e-reader in here so that when I'm going through security, all the things that I need to take out are all just right here. But again, just like a nice big slot, whatever you want to put in there um, that's kind of long and flat. This bag is easy to handle. Uh, on the side here, there's a side handle. It's reinforced with an aluminum stay down below, so it, it carries solid and the bag keeps its structure and doesn't bag out when it's loaded heavy. Um, also from the top, there's a set, there's a top handle, so you can grab it this way, pull it out of an overhead bin. And then on each side of that top handle, we've left little cutouts here. Um, so there's just kind of loops where you could clip something here real quick if you needed to. You could put a luggage ID tag here if you needed to. Um, so we've got handle options. And then uh, it's got a three-sided zipper. This is a panel loading bag. So that gives you some options. You can just open it from the top here which also will give you access to this uh, internal security pocket, which I'll talk about when, after we open it up. Also, on, from the side position, you can open it this way. You can access the contents, and as well, there's a, this zippered pocket here on the side you can access, which we'll look at inside the bag. Um, and of course, you can open all three sides for access and view of the entire load. Um, I've got about five days worth of clothes in here right now. Of course, depending on how often you need to wash your pants and stuff, you know, it, it, it's all variable. But yeah, I've got fully five shirts in here, a couple pairs of pants, I got shorts, I got a workout outfit that I can sweat in. 
Um, I always keep like socks and undies, the workout clothes, some plastic bags for dirty laundry in here, all of that. I'm just gonna kinda see if I can, there we go. Okay, so just the main cavity is just a big, large loading area. Um, there's a, a stretch pocket in here that can hold things tight to the back panel. Uh, this has gotten wide enough with the size of this bag that we've added some elastic to the top here, so it's nice and snappy. There's also a couple utility loops here. If you had a pouch or an accessory that you like to lash here, throw a pen in there, maybe a pocket knife or not. It's really low profile, no problem. Um, so on the panel here, as I mentioned, there's this top security pocket. Um, in this bag, this is a bit more of a flat pocket. Um, this is a fine place to throw documents, maybe some snacks for the plane. I like to keep uh, like a spare battery in there. And then inside of this, inside of the pocket, there's a couple of drop-ins. Uh, this one's sized for like passport, wallet, phone. This one here is a little longer. You could throw a phone in there sideways. Um, you can keep a bunch of cash in there. So we just intended this as a security pocket. It's opaque. It's, it's inside the main body, so it's secure, but with one zip, two zips, you can get at everything that's in there. Um, below that, and all these pockets have their own volume. So below that, that utilizes this volume is a mesh pocket. Uh, it's mesh so you can see through it. As I mentioned before, when the bag is on its side, um, you can open the zipper and get at it without opening the bag all the way. Uh, I've got my journal in there. I've got another cap one. So I, I keep toiletries in here. If I'm on like a really long flight, sometimes I like to just brush my teeth between flights. Um, and I just charger for my computer if I need it. So this stuff is kind of a way, but you could still get at it. Um, in a pinch if you needed to. Okay, I'm just gonna load this up real quick again and then we'll talk about talk about the outside and the carry. Okay. Uh, at, at the bottom of the zipper we gave you these little counter pulls so that zipping this closed is easy. Okay. Um, and like I said, this is a backpack and it carries extremely well. Okay. Oh, I've got contoured shoulder straps. They're typical Evergoods construction. They're inside is EV50 foam. It's, uh, it's got really tight bubbles and uh, it's kind of rubbery and bouncy, really long lasting. It's a very comfortable and long lasting foam. Um, also typical to the patterning of our other bags is this sort of wedge that comes up over the shoulders. So this puts the load of just a little bit up on your back. Um, there's no load lifters, there's no straps and dangly adjustments. The bag is clean and fits well out of the box. Inside the back panel, there's an HDPE frame sheet, a plastic frame sheet. It's got a 7000 series aluminum stay that comes pre-curved. Uh, so it, it's got just a little bit of contour for your back, rides well in the lumbar and, and carries well. In addition, we've got an updated back panel construction that uses a monofilament textile on top of a spacer mesh. Uh, so this is a much more breathable and more comfortable back panel than uh, in some of our previous bags. There also is right here. So. We, we left kind of a gap or a center channel right down the middle. So there's this uh, sort of luggage strap. Uh, when you're wearing the bag, it just sort of lies flat. You don't feel it. You can use this as a handle to pick the bag up if you need to. Um, or this also sets vertically on top, of a, on top of a wheeled luggage or the handle comes through the top. So this is a handle pass through uh, for if you're using wheeled luggage as well. Or if you're not using wheeled luggage and, you, and you're carrying this bag through through to your destination. Um, we've, so stowed inside here is a, is a pretty well appointed hip belt. So you can reach up inside and pull out these wings. And we've, we've sewed these with contour. Uh, so they're actually curved um, to sort of cup the hips and wrap around the body. Um, they're not just like flat paddles. This is actually a, a quite nice belt. Okay, so now the hip belt is deployed. This is a, a very nice belt, actually. I'll put it on for you. OK, 
Okay, the, the belt can kind of angle up and down a bit for different sized users. It's got a thin, low profile buckle so that you don't feel it when it's stowed. Um, we also are using our uh, elastic keepers. So this belt has more adjustment or you can roll it up and throw the elastic over it to just keep it tidy. Cinch the straps a little bit. It also comes with a sternum strap. Um, the sternum strap is adjustable on, on these anchor points up and down. You can also remove it and turn it over. So right now it's set up for right hand draw. You can flip it over for left hand draw. Um, so with the, the sternum strap, the waist belt, the harness, got frame sheet with a stay. It's very comfortable, uh, very comfortable ride. And again, this waist belt is stowable. So if you just kind of keep it tidy to go in the overhead bin, um, this belt, it, it just sort of folds over and then, and then it just lies parallel to this, to this vertical line. I'll show it to you. Just like that. And then, uh, and then I like to take the buckle and stuff and I just shove it all the way to the top so that you don't, it's as low profile as it can be. That's it, it's stowed. This bag's ready to go. This is our Civic Travel Bag 35 liter.